Hey guys, this is Sunny Lee, Rice Bowl Hunter. So I wanted to make my first video in a while. and The first Rise of Skywalker full-length trailer finally just dropped right about 18 hours ago at the time I'm making this video. And I'm so hyped for it. So I'm going to make a review. And just a heads up that there will be spoilers um, from the previous Star Wars movie. So if you haven't seen them yet and you don't want spoilers, stop watching here. I'm sick right now, so that's why my voice probably sounds nasally. And I have to be inside all the time, so I thought, why not make a review? And so let's take a look at the trailer right now. It's an instinct. together we're not alone good people will fight if we lead them people keep telling me they know me no one does What are you doing there, 3PO? Taking one last look, sir, at my friends. Confronting fear is the destiny of a Jedi. Your destiny. disclaimer this is not an analysis it is not a theory video this is literally just my reaction to it I just wanted to share it with the internet first thing I want to mention is that there is a like one second scene of like Rose Tico um, so she is in the last episode for sure thank God and this is relevant because I read an article like a week ago about how Rose Tico was uh, unannouncedly removed from a whole bunch of episode 9 merchandise for some reason I don't know and also because I'm Vietnamese American and Rose Tico is um, Star Wars first Vietnamese background actor um, in the franchise so next um, on some it looks like some ocean planet um, with some abandoned facility um, Ray walks out onto a rampart and then there's Kylo Ren approaching her and they start out lightsaber fighting, but later in the trailer that they they end up cutting down something together with their lightsabers, which shows that they fight together after that. Um, and that is paired with Emperor Palpatine. Ooh, return. Um, his voice comes back, um, or his voice comes and he says that your coming together is your undoing, which seems like a mockery of um, the alliance that Kylo Ren and Rey seemingly take together in this episode, which of course is already shown briefly in episode 8, but then Kylo Ren, you know, does the, the whole Darth Vader. He pulls a Darth Vader and he says, you know, rule the galaxy with me, and of course Rey refuses, um, and he becomes Rey's enemy again. But it seems like in this trailer that they once again take alliance somewhere in episode 9. So that's that's really exciting, yeah, and to see a more kind of fleshed out version of, um, 
of the Sith returning to the good, which was seen at the very end of episode 6 when uh, Darth Vader was right about to die. And it seems like since Luke's voice is in this trailer, logic dictates that his voice will probably be somewhere in the movie too. So maybe at some point we will um, meet Luke's Force Ghost and hopefully we'll meet, be able to meet Yoda's Force Ghost too or a Force Ghost of other returning um, Star Wars characters from the original episodes. Um, and that will probably bring some hype too. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see that, how that's going to happen. And we even see a glimpse of Emperor Palpatine himself in his classic hooded robe. But it looks like this time he's on a machine in the last scene when he's confronting Rey. And he's approaching her. And then the machine is probably something that um, helped him keep his life after he was thrown into the generator by Luke in episode 6. So how his return's going to happen, it's probably going to be epic. It's probably going to be dramatic. Uh, excited to see how it's going to go down. And then there's a scene where it seems like three C-3PO is going to die because he says he takes one last look at his friends. So sad. Z-3PO, who's been present from the very first episode of Star Wars, um, is probably going to make an exit in this chapter. You know, as a finale to the nine-episode saga that has stretched across the last... 40 plus years, um, it seems like there's probably going to be, they're probably going to be very ambitious with this, um, with this episode, and pro they'll, we'll probably see the most epic lightsaber battles, most epic laser blaster battles, starfighter chases, and galactic war scenes that we'd, we'd have ever seen in the saga so far, so I'm super excited to see how they visually achieve this, and how they, um, uh, will throw it all together. So I've been uh I've been a Star Wars fan for only about one year now. I've watched all the movies except for Solo, and I have not watched the Clone Wars or Rebels. But I want to get into them, and hopefully I get to go see Episode Nine in theaters this Christmas. Even though, yeah, it's not it's not the the sequel that that the most hardcore fans dreamed of or wished for. Um, you know. I'm not a hardcore fan myself, and I'm still going to throw money at the theaters to go see a continuation of Star Wars, because I freaking love Star Wars. And so this was my review of the Rise of Skywalker trailer. Um, so leave leave your comments in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to start making more reviews from now on, hopefully. I'll make some video game reviews, some movie reviews, even, I don't know, I'll take some requests. Um... I love sharing my opinion, um, and tell me how you think Roger Skywalker is going to go down, what you think about um, the trailer, um, and have a good one. This is Rice Bowl Hunter.